In this video, we would like to find the volume of a solid under the plane x minus 2y plus z equals to 1. It's a plane because none of them has a square root, no sine and cosine, no fraction, so that's a, a plane. And above the region R that is bounded by x plus y equals to 1, it's a line and x squared plus y equals to 1. So let me start by graphing the region R. So first, always graph the region R. Okay, let me try to graph it. This is x-axis, this is y-axis. So what do I have? And here I have y equals 1 minus x squared. As you see, it's an upside down parabola like this. Okay. And um, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 1. So I have a 1 in here. When y is equal to 0, x squared would be equal to 1, which would be plus or minus 1. And then on here, what I have, I have a y equals 1 minus x. It's a line, right? But let me find the intersection of these two first before I graph the line. So to find the intersection, I'm going to set, I need to find a point where at that point or those points, uh, x coordinate and y coordinates are equal to each other. So I'm going to set the y coordinates equal to each other. 1 minus x is equal to 1 minus x squared. So I can cancel out the ones or maybe I can bring everything in one side equals to 0. I can cancel out that and I'm going to factor out an x equals to 0. So I get x equals to 0 and y equals to 0. When x is equal to 0, plug into any of them, you get y equals to 1, so the point 0 and 1 is one of the intersection. When y is equal to 0, again, plug into any of them, so I get x equals to 1, so 1 and 0. So basically, this point in here and this point in here would be the intersection of this line. Let me just move this one a little bit on here. So on this line, I get y equals 1 minus x squared in here. I get y equals 1 minus x in here. And the region R is bounded by these two would be that. That's the region R. Okay, good. The first step would be to set up the integral. I need to set up the integral. I have the double integral of what? Of f dA over the region R. So as you know by the definition of the double integral, double integral gives you the volume of a solid that is bounded above by the function f below by your region R. That's the meaning of the double integral. So the volume of the solid bounded on top by f, by the function f, by the integral on the bottom by the region r. Okay, that's why we need to do that. Um, and now the question is, what is f? To find f in here, I need to write z because it's given as an equation of the plane. So I said z equals 1 minus x plus 2y. That's my f. Okay, so the double integral of z, the, the volume that I would like to solve is um, the double integral of z, which is 1 minus x plus 2y, and then dA. What is dA? Okay, for dA, I can do dy first and write dy and then dx. If I do dy first, I need to, um, when I do dy first, it means that x is constant, so I have a parallel line like this to the y axis. So I'm going to cross the region R by this parallel line. It would help me to write the bounds 
better. So when um, I go along the positive y axis, the first point lies on here. On here, y is equal to 1 minus x. So I'm going to write 1 minus x. And uh, this line leaves the region at this point. This point lies on the curve, the blue curve, which is y equals to 1 minus x squared. Perfect. I found the bounds for y. Now the bounds for x, I need to pay attention that how many um, of these lines I can have, or basically I can have this parallel line to the y-axis starting right here, which is x equals to 0, go to here, which is x equals to 1. Perfect. I have my function, I have my integral, and then I just need to solve. So I, I'm going to write the outer integral, and then I'm going to integrate the inner integral with respect to y. So I get y minus xy plus y squared. And the y is from 1 minus x to y equals 1 minus x squared. Always write the variable in here so that you don't get confused yourself to plug in the numbers or the functions that you have in here for x or for y. So I have this. Don't forget the x. So I'm going to write the outer integral. Plug in for any y, plug in uh, the upper bound, which is 1 minus x squared minus x. Instead of y in here, I'm going to plug in that. x squared plus 1 minus x squared. Square. And then I have a big minus. Now I'm going to plug in the, the lower bound into here for any y. So I get what? 1 minus x minus x, 1 minus x. Actually, let me move everything just a little bit so that I have more space. And then plus 1 minus x square and the x. Okay, so if I do a little bit of simplification in here, I get negative 5x squared plus 3x plus x cubed plus x to the 4 dx. Now, I just have an integral um, where the integrand is a function of x. So it would be negative 5 over 3x cubed plus 3 over 2x squared plus x to the 4 over 4 and um, plus x to the 5 over 5 from x equals to 0 to x equals to 1, right? So plug in 1, plug in 0, I get negative 5 over 3 plus 3 over 2 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 over 5 minus plug in 0, everything would be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Do the calculation, we get 17 over 60. But I can also write this integrand when dx is first. Or I can do this volume as a, the integral of what? Let me make it with black. So I have the integral of the function x plus 2y. And then I'm going to do dx first. So when, when I'm going to do dx first, I need to write in here x equals to something to x equals to something. Okay? So x is changing, y is fixed. Go back to uh, your graph. And then when x is fixed, um, when y is fixed, I can have a parallel line to... Uh, the x-axis, so y is fixed. This purple line cross my region at this point. This is the beginning point. This is the end point, okay, that it leaves the region. So it crossed the region. It um, enters the region at this line. This line is what? I'm going to write x in terms of y. So x equals 1 minus y. Go back in here, 1 minus y. Very good. And now the upper bound would be like this. Uh, the parallel line to the x-axis leaves my region at this point, which lies on this curve in here. And I need to write x in terms of y. So how do I do 
that, how do I write this? I'm going to write x squared as 1 minus y. And then x would be plus minus a square root of 1 minus y squared, right? Uh, 1 minus y. And um, since the x coordinate of this point is positive, I don't need to be worried about the negative sign. Okay, so I just have positive sign in here. So x square root of 1 minus y. And then I can graph these lines starting at this point in here. Okay, starting at this point, which is what? y equals to 0. And I can graph these parallel lines up to here, which is y equals to 1. So y equals to 0 to y equals to 1. That's how we can set up this integral. You can do the same calculation in here, which would be a little harder because we have a square root in here. But uh, we get the same number.